What is up everybody? Have you ever wondered, bring it in, bring it in. What do you do with all those fiddler crabs when you buy too many of them? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to store those fiddler crabs. When you get so excited at the bait store, you buy too many. So roll intro. So last week I got super excited about fishing for sheephead and me and Jack Moran from Yakin' with Jack, we went out to Pensacola Beach. So I swooped by the bait shop. They were like $2.99 a dozen. So I said, give me three, you know? Because I thought we were going to be sharing these filler crabs. Got there, you already had hit. I thought you said seven. I thought it was going to be seven, but I uh, just got here early. Cool, yeah. cool. You some crabs? I got three a uh, dozen. Yeah, that's what I got too. So, you know what? I figured, hey, we were going to nail a sheep head. I was just pretty confident. So um, I rolled up with a paper bag full of three dozen fiddler crabs. <laughs> And uh, we only caught one. Jack caught one, it looked like it had HIV. It literally had like no jaw. And by the way guys, fiddler crabs, they'll bite you. He's got you good. That's why I was using the gloves. He's definitely not letting go. They, they'll, they'll latch on and you won't get that finger back for a minute. That's why I wear gloves. I came back and I was like, you know what, I gotta store these things, so I had to get creative. So basically what I did is I took that brown paper bag and I stuck it in a cooler, um, basically to keep them like cool and out of the sun until I got back home and I could figure out what to do with them. You can keep these guys for quite a while. I mean like for days, even a week, if you do it right. So you might be wondering, okay, so how do I, how do I store these guys? Oh, I'm about to tell you. So step one, what you need to do is you need to find a cool, place that you can store them, coffee can, a bucket, a cooler. I have an old cooler that I got out of a garbage can, literally, and that's why I save coolers. You never know when you might need one, storing crabs. And I hope before you left, you grab some sand and some salt water because that's where they live at the beach. And so you can put it in the cooler, but if you don't, don't sweat it. You can use fresh water. Um, hasn't really bothered them for the last couple days. And uh, um, you can just kind of throw them in the cooler. And you just kind of angle the cooler enough so all the water goes to like one side and they can get out of the, out of the water on the other. You know, they can hang out on the beach. They got a little water down there. And if you are worried about them not eating, you put a little dog food in there or a little piece of fish. I don't know if I'd necessarily do that because they'll need to eat for a couple of days and that'll start to stink after a while. So once you get all that into the cooler, just put it in a cool dry place and uh, crabs won't crawl out of the cooler as long as it's deep enough. And pretty funny is, you know, they always say crabs love misery. When one tries to crawl out, the rest of them pulling back down. So you don't have to really worry about them to escaping. True story, I was actually put them in the cup holder on my Hobie kayak. And uh, every time one would try to crawl out, the rest would pull him down. And I didn't have to worry about them escaping until it was only one. Funny story. I actually show that footage right here. So, you know, last and not least, just put them in a cool, dry place um, until you get ready to go fishing again. They'll usually last a couple days to a week. And they're not expensive, but I hate to waste bait. I spent like eight bucks on them, and I only used a couple. And funny story, oh, last, I, this is the last story, guys. But Samantha let them loose accidentally in the garage. I had them in that brown bag you saw, and she thought she was gonna go empty my fishing cooler out with, uh, out asking, and she pulled the bag up, bottom fell out, all the filler crabs went right across the garage, and I lost about six to 10 of them. There's another one. Another one that escaped right there. I just saw another one go that way. They'll start stinking in a couple days, but I told her she shouldn't have been, you know, prying into my cooler. But that's all I got guys, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I 
Count, comment down below if you've had an incident like that and then how you store them so we can all learn from each other. But that's all I got guys. I'll see you guys later.